Okay, this is a quick, easy video in Calyx Point for how to create a new file. So we have launched Calyx Point and we are at the launch screen. This is the screen that should start up once you have started your version of Calyx Point. The first and most important step you can do is make sure you're in the correct data folder. For Weber Mortgage, that data folder is the Active Leads folder. This is where we create and work with all the files we have until we submit that loan to processing. Let me make something clear to you. This does not have to be a loan for you to create a file. We create files on every person that we talk to. If we get an opportunity to talk to somebody, we want to create a file for them. This is going to help us track their information. It's going to give us important marketing information so that we can market to them. And even if we don't get them today, maybe get them the next time they do a loan. So everybody you talk to, create a file for. So you're gonna come in, make sure you're in your active leads folder, and then you're just simply gonna click on the new button. New is going to create a new file for you, as opposed to opening an existing file, copying, moving, or deleting. And it's gonna bring you to this dialog box. You can create a new file from a blank file, which we never do. You can create one from a new file from a prospect file, which we never do or you can create one from a new file from master template, which is what you're always gonna to wanna to do, and it should be the default in your system. Again, make your best case judgment as to whether this is a conventional purchaser refi, FHA purchaser refi, USDA purchase, we don't ever do USDA refis, I've never done one in 17 years, or a VA purchase or refi, eventually we'll have a VA refi option in here as well. If you're not sure whether it's good, what type of loan it's going to be, choose conventional. About 80% of our business at Weber Mortgage is conventional business. And so assume that we can always make the change later on. So again, let's say this is a conventional refi. I can either double click conventional refi or I can click it and hit OK. Once I do that, I'm going to be in my screen. There are just a few pieces of information that I'm going to recommend that you get on every single file even before you save the file, you should get the name, John Q. Borrower, and you should get their nickname. If they go by John, put in John. If they go by Johnny, put in Johnny, whatever, and ask them how to spell it, by the way, and then get their cell phone number and their email address. And I strongly recommend you also ask for their mailing address. If you don't ask for this, it's your own fault. Because all this is stuff that we can use to market to someone. That is the minimum amount of information I'm going to get on every file. Name, nickname, cell phone, email, and their address. Okay? Only other thing you want to make sure you do is choose yourself as the originator. And then you can click Save and close that file. When you try to save that file, it's gonna ask you what folder you wanna save it in. You always wanna save it in Active Leads, unless you're ready to turn it into processing, and you're gonna let it use the auto file name. That's how you create a file, and that's the basic information that you should have in every file that you create. 